want to be the kind of country that has tests or that deports people, but they also want to know that their leaders feel what they feel, and they feel like war is being brought to us. And so when he says, I would ask for a declaration of war, I don't think he's putting well, people off. I think, it gets, I think it's everything he says afterward that gets him in trouble. But yeah, right. war is language. People feel that they're at war against us. Yeah, but that have to be, have to be smart. That One, may not war be. against whom? I, and second of all, with what tools? What's so interesting about this I totally war? I agree with you. Was, I, we've got to fight it with everything, everything from internet stuff to education to what is said in mosques. I totally agree with you. I'm just saying, when Donald Trump says, when, this is what we're all watching right after we put our kids to bed, and Donald Trump says, yes, I'll ask for a declaration of war, I don't think people feel right. that that's... It may hit the gut, Mike Barnacle, but it uh, doesn't it also do some other things that might be potentially dangerous? I mean, isn't it at a time like this where words should be very measured? Obviously. Yeah. Look at these pictures that we are watching, that America is watching from coast to coast today. These pictures erase logic. Exactly. So when a candidate for the presidency of the United States, Donald Trump or anyone else, says we need to declare war, it resonates out there. Never mind that when you declare war, there's a back end to a declaration of war, and it's called surrender. There's going to be no <laughs> surrender on the back end. There's going to be no USS Missouri and a signature on, right. on, on the deck of a battle. After 9-11.